The S52X is finally here and with a secret spec that wasn't actually disclosed at the time of its announcement. And for around $200 more than the S52, I think the extra features that you're getting are truly worth it. Lumix also announced some price reductions for some of the S Pro series of lenses and I also have a date for when the upgrade key for the S52 to output RAW will be available, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's talk about this new camera. Oh, it's going to become my A-cam, that's for sure. This will definitely be the camera that I'm going to use from now on as my A-cam. My B cam will be the S52, and then unfortunately that means that my S5 has now been demoted again to my C cam, and then my D cam is going to be the S1, which is just back there. I'm not going to get rid of any of my cameras, they're all my children, don't ask, I'm not sending them to you they're mine. So back in December, when I went out to Japan to see uh, the first sort of pre-launch of the S52, uh, Panasonic also announced the S52X. Now we have them. There's actually physical copies and I've got one. So um, last Thursday was a launch event for the S52X. I was able to get a copy of the camera so I could actually test it out, see what it's all like. So in today's video, since I've not had it for too long, I'm going to do a sort of first look and first impressions. I've got so much more content to film and to make for this channel. So first of all, I just want to address the fact that I really like that Lumix announced the S52X at the same time as the S52 because it meant that buyers can make a conscious purchasing decision as to whether to get the S52 or to wait for the newer S52X. And of course, there are some differences between the two and the S52X does share all the same great features that were debut with the S52. So that means it has a phase detect autofocus, which is fantastic. It has the active calling system, which means truly unlimited video recording, but it also has a few more tricks up its sleeve that would definitely be more geared towards the sort of professional filmmaker or videographer, if you like. So that's all sort of the defining factor between them. And of course the design. Um, in fact, I think this camera's actually won a few design awards. Um, so yeah, they're definitely doing something right there. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into what this camera has that the S52 doesn't. So start Starting off with all inch codecs. And the S52X does feature all inch codecs internally, so you can record at bit rates up to 600 megabits a second internally and then 800 megabits a second via a SSD to USB C, um, which is really nice. And then on top of that, of course, we get ProRes internally with this camera, which is fantastic. So you can record ProRes 422HQ in full HD internally, and then you can also record ProRes up to 5.8K uh, 422HQ uh, via the USB C to SSD function. And then and the data rate for that is 1.6 gigabits a second, which is huge. So it's going to be very, very large files, but they're going to look absolutely fantastic. There is a record time limit of 30 minutes when you are recording ProRes at 5.8K in either 422 or 422HQ, but that record limit disappears as soon as you get to cinema 4K and below. Um, and for those guys that don't really know the benefits of shooting in all intro or ProRes, um, it basically comes down to being a less compressed file type. So what that means is that technically your computers will be able to handle those uh, files a lot Lot better than they will with the long up codex even though you have a larger file it's actually easier for your computer to handle and for those of you guys that don't really know the benefits of using prores it's probably the most widely loved and used editing codex since it runs beautifully on any sort of system so it runs great on mac it runs great on pc for those out there that are doing you know a post workflow that's quite complicated or have to send off footage to let's say other satellite editors then they're going to absolutely love the fact that you can give them prores straight out of the camera and on an ssd which of course means that the workflow is so much nicer as well. The S52X can also output RAW via HDMI as standard out of the box. And of course, we knew it could do ProRes RAW via HDMI, but the secret spec is that it can also do Blackmagic RAW via HDMI too. Of course, you'll need the Blackmagic Video Assist 12G to be able to do that. And while we're on the topic of recording RAW, um, the date for when the upgrade key for the S52 will be out is the 13th of June of this year. So if you did want to record RAW with your S52, then on the 13th of June, you can buy the upgrade key and that will unlock the RAW features, allowing you to record both ProRes RAW and Blackmagic RAW as well. Also, right at the start of this video, I mentioned about some price reductions for some of the uh, S Pro lenses. So let's quickly touch upon that. From what I've been told, these price reductions will only be available on the European market. So for everyone that's watching in the US, Canada, and the rest of the world, I'm sorry. <laughs> The 70-200 f2.8 is currently priced at £2,599 and will be reduced to £2,099. The 24-70 f2.8 is currently priced at £2,199 and will be reduced to £1,799. And the 70-300 is currently priced at £1,259 and will be reduced to £899. 
So if you've ever been interested in buying one of those lenses and you live in Europe, then now will be a pretty good time to buy one. So guys, if you have less than $2,500 to spend and you want to get ProRes RAW, Blackmagic RAW, ProRes via USB-C SSD up to 5.8K 422HQ, if you want all intra codecs, if you want unlimited video recording in 6K, if you want a camera that looks amazing, then what are you doing? Go and get this, this is definitely the one to get. I've got so many videos planned for the S52X, so definitely keep an eye out if you are interested in knowing more about this camera. I wanna do some comparisons between the data rates, I wanna show you guys the difference between all intra codecs and long up codecs, what they look like, how they edit like. I wanna show you guys what the ProRes looks like, I wanna show you guys what the RAW looks like, I wanna show you everything that this camera has to offer. So definitely keep an eye out over the next couple of weeks because I've got a lot of content to make about the S52X.